Hi guys, this is Eric from California, back again for another video. This is my week number 30, so thanks for watching. If this is your first time watching, I'm pure Chinese and I'm just taking on the year challenge. So what is a year? Basically, you are just growing a beer in a year um, without major trimming. So um, usually there are around 52 weeks. I am on my week 30. I should have another 22 weeks. It's still quite a long time. So things could be interesting and it takes a lot of patience. So if you're interested, you wanted to see my progress, please like, share and subscribe my channel. I really appreciate your support. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you my progress this week. Okay, so I actually wanted to try growing out my mustache. So I purposely not to trim it at all. Um, just going to give it a little bit time and see what I can do. Um, but uh, leave me comments. Maybe I should just trim it, huh? <laughs> Okay, so for this week, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on right now with the coronavirus. So I know that there have been a lot of videos talking about it already. Um, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. Um, first of all, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you very much to all the nurses out there, doctors, um, all the essential service workers such as um, you know the grocery stores supermarkets banks um, you guys are still going to work every single day uh, with you know a lot of pressures stress a lot of waste definitely um, still coming to work and keep the city going keep you know providing all the services um, to everyone so um, really appreciate that thank you very much um, so yes, with this coronavirus going on right now, most of the major cities, states already um, placed a lockdown uh, order. So everyone has to stay home. Um, try not to uh, you know, go out and hang out with your friends. Uh, you need to supposed to keep a distance with each other. Um, so um, there have been a poster that been sharing around on the internet uh, talking about like if you have facial hair beard you might have a higher chance to get infected um, so I mean the poster actually uh, was on the internet back in 2017 and it has nothing to do with the coronavirus um, basically it's just saying that if you need to wear a respirator um, and you have facial hair it might not be fully sealed um, so I mean if you work in the front line like a nurse and you have direct contact with you know those patients or people got infected uh, you might want to wear a respirator such as the N95 and you might want to consider shaving your facial hair because so you wanted to make sure it actually works, right? Um, however, for most of the regular people like us, um, you just simply just need a mask um, and you don't need to, to shave. Um, so just make sure that don't look at that poster and get and got freak out and you know start shaving so um, all right so tips number two uh, you should wash your beer more frequent um, not definitely not more than uh, two days um, because you just wanted to improve your hygiene and that will help minimize your risk of infection it also enhance your overall health so that's number two. Tip number three, you should 
wash your hands. I mean, that's not a secret um, because your hand touch a lot of different surfaces. Uh, you, you wanted to wash your hands uh, more frequently. And also try not to touch your beer. Um, I know that there's a tendency that you wanted to play around with your beer, your facial hair, like, like I do. <laughs> um, but because, you know, at this time, your hand always touch so many different places, different surfaces. Uh, if you touch your beer, you might have a high chance to get infected. Also, um, you don't want it to um, kiss somebody, right? Or give a hug or kiss someone, your loved one, with a dirty beer. So, uh-uh, sorry, stop touching. <laughs> so, yeah, with this city lockdown right now, do you think most people are actually really staying home? I just curious, wanted to see um, how's the city is going. If there are any car on the street or uh, people still hanging out in the park, let's go check it out. All right, so let's check out and see how the city is doing. If there's the less cars on the street. All right, let's go. Let's check it out! Alright guys, so yes. So nice. I guess it's a good time to uh, visit some of those uh, tours uh, spot. Because usually it's hard to find parking. And there will be so many people here, especially during uh, holidays. But today, guess what? It's completely empty here. Nice. Okay, so yeah, there are not much people here, um, which is good, you know. Usually it will be packed with uh, tours and it's hard to find parking, it's hard to uh, take picture by yourself, you know, um, so yeah, let's take advantage of it, you know, since... Alright, so um, I'm glad that actually there are not many people outside, most people are staying home, which is really good because uh, it's very important that uh, we all stay home and try not to spread out the virus especially for the older people uh, for 50 or 60 older um, you know it's very critical that you should stay home um, however you could still come out just maybe a little bit just to enjoy fresh air enjoy the sun and there are a lot a lot of parking space here uh, you don't have to uh, worry about parking there are not many people here taking pictures, so you can come out and really enjoy uh, the beautiful view of uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Alright, so where are we gonna go next? Uh, let's go check out some other places. Okay, so we're at the biggest beach and this is actually a nude beach when the weather is nice there are usually a lot of people here but guess what it's pretty empty today um, well there are actually a couple people are serving there wow it's, it's freezing there so I guess that's it for this week I'm gonna go join them <laughs> just kidding so thanks again for watching see you guys next time be safe <laughs>